Oh, there you are. So, how would you like to take your party from looking like this to this? If you're wanting to take your party to the next level, then make sure you stay to the end of this video and we'll show you how you can make that happen. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you five different games that you can play with your friends, multiplayer, sitting on your couch, and that way you can take your party up to the next level. Let's talk about the criteria that I use to select each of these games. Criteria number one, it must be a four player or more player game. It also must have either a competitive or hopefully friendly com competition within the game. And then lastly, it has to have action. I mean, really, who wants to sit down and play a four player game if it's pretty boring anyway? Okay, so if you need help setting up any of these four player games that we're going to cover today, make sure you leave us a comment in below and then we'll go over these videos and show you how to set each of those up in an upcoming video for you guys. All right, so jumping straight into the games now, the first game on the list is going to be a game called Gang Beast. Now, you can play Gang Beast four player on local play, so you don't even need to be online for this particular game. You just need up to four of your friends, and all four of you guys can play together on the same screen. Now, what makes this a must have on this list of games is the fact that it's a very silly and fun game. So it does offer competition, but it is way too silly, way too much fun to really get into you know, arguments and things like that over this particular game. Your group of friends are going to just have a blast and just play against each other and not really worry about anything besides just having fun with each other. Now, if you're a fan of cars and you're a fan of soccer, well then this next game is the perfect game for your group of friends because they put the two together and they called it Rocket League. Now, Rocket League is a game of soccer with cars and the object is to take the car and hit the ball and as you hit the ball, you're trying to get it towards the goal and ultimately score a goal just like you would in soccer. Now Rocket League does have a few other additives to it in which you can play hockey. Uh, there is a basketball mode as well. And there are some modifications you can make to the different game types so that you can add some extra fun into that. This game again does meet the criteria of up to four players. It is competitive. It is definitely action packed with all the driving around that you must do, avoiding the other team, the different modifications that you can add into the game, the speed boosting, and all of these different factors really make it an action packed game. And that is also why it's on the list. So if you're a fan of sports, then the next game on the list is going to be right up your alley. The next must have is pretty much any sports game that you can find on console. So your NBA 2Ks, your Maddens, your NHL, and your MLB. Now all of these games do meet the criteria of being able to be played by four players locally on your couch. It's a sports game, so obviously it offers some competition and as well as action packed because it's sports and sports is action. Depending on your group of friends, one may be better than the other, but in general, you'll find that at least one of these particular sports games will work with your group of friends. Now, if sports aren't necessarily your thing, but you want to get your inner soldier on, then the next game on the list is Call of Duty. Now keep in mind, Call of Duty is going to be a mature rated game, so this may be for you know your older group of friends. So if you have some of the younger kids here, this may be something that isn't going to be on your list. But in general, this is a good game to play with a group of friends while you're sitting on the couch because it does offer that competitive atmosphere and it is a very fast paced first person shooter game. So it's not going to be like some of the other first person shooters out there, which can be more tactical, uh, a little bit slower game. Now the last criteria it must meet is to be a four player game. And so this one's a little bit tricky because not all Call of Duties are four player local players sit on the couch games. Some of them are only two players. We really try to hone in on the four player games and certain games like this particular one, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and I believe Black Ops 3 are going to be uh, four player local player games. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the newest Modern Warfare is going to be a four player game. I believe World War II is going to be a four player game, but only in the zombie mode. So if that's something that you're interested in, you could switch over to the zombie mode. And then that will also give you four player options there as well. The game does give you multiple options how you would play it while you're sitting at the house on the couch with your friends. Okay, so let's switch over to the Nintendo Switch. See what I did there? I switched... Well, you get it. So the game that I have on the list today, though, um, meets a special criteria because not only is it up to four players, but you actually can play eight players on this particular game. The one downside of this particular idea is you obviously would need eight controllers in this case or eight Joy-Cons. Uh, but if you happen to have that many and you know your friends come over, maybe they can bring some controllers with them. But again, it definitely meets that criteria of four players because it goes all the way up to eight. 
uh, you are fighting against each other so there is the competition factor and in general you try to keep this you know pretty fun atmosphere because of the characters that you're playing are going to be all the Nintendo characters your Donkey Kongs your Mario's and a nice wide variety of Nintendo characters in there then lastly it's a fighting game so it's action-packed so you have eight players you know fighting each other on a screen and uh, for me it's it's kind of crazy I can't really keep up with the game and follow where I'm going I guess I'm getting too old for that but uh, watching some of my friends and some kids play it uh, it's a pretty fun and interesting game and if you're having a group of your friends over to play some games then this is definitely on the list of games that you need to have there so that you guys can all play together and just have a blast with each other so speaking of super smash brothers if you want to smash your party and take it up to the next level as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can check us out at our website at me2ugametruck.com. That's www.me, the number 2, y-o-u-gametruck.com. So check it out if you'd like to host your own party here in the St. Louis area. And we'll be happy to come out and host a game truck party for you. And which you can have up to 28 of your best friends at your own party together all hanging out in the same place. So make sure you check that out, guys. I appreciate your time, and we'll see you in the next video. I figured I'd put you back where you, you know, where I found you guys. So have a good day.